Assalamu alaikum, sister. Um, thank you for writing in. And um, I see that you've been married since 2015. Um, and I'm really sorry to hear about what's going on in the household. Um, this often happens um, when people, young couples, uh, move in with, with family. There's an adjustment period. Um, so it's not uncommon um, to hear of these problems. Um, there's different roles and responsibilities that each family member you know, partakes in. And obviously his two older sisters are very used to running everything, uh, probably doing all the housework, handling the finances, keeping track of their brother, making sure that the home and everybody in it is, is doing okay. Um, now you're in it. <laughs> Um, as his wife, uh, you're part of that household, and um, mistakenly they feel that you know that they need to continue to run everything and do everything as they have been. Um, they have not been able to transition over, you know, with the changes that are needed when one does get married in a household. Um, and those transitions are, as you know, treating you as you know an equal as his wife as well as handing over the responsibilities or at least you know some of the responsibilities for the home um so i'm looking at you know what you stated and is his parents passed away before your proposal um, i'm not really sure how long ago it was that they did pass away but there could be some grieving going on as well and some adjustments that everybody's trying to make um and that could be part of it as well. You know, they may fear, you know, that if they let go of some of the control and some of the responsibilities of the household that they might disappoint their parents. Um, or they may have made, you know, promises to their parents prior to their passing that they would always take care of everything. Um, and that's something that, you know, they're going to have to work through themselves. And, you know, you could help the process, you know, a little bit by just reassuring your husband that you love him very much. Um, reassure him, you know, that you want to be a good wife. And, you know, you might want to share examples from our beloved prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, of how he, he ran his household and, you know, the things in, that his wives did. Um, you can give him examples, you know, of, of you know, things in his marriage and, and how his, his home ran. Um, you could, you know, just reiterate that, you know, you would like a, a marriage based on, you know, mutual trust and responsibility. Um, you could also, you know, just tell him that you really appreciate his sisters being so concerned. Um, but that you feel, you know, that since you're both married and you both are adults, that you do need your private time. You do need your personal time as well as you both need to start being responsible for the household yourselves. And I understand that he gets upset when he starts fighting with you when you talk to him. Um, but inshallah, maybe talk to him out of the house. Um, I don't know if you tried that. Um, but if you go to a place that's neutral, um, say like go for a walk in the park, go out for dinner, go out for some tea or something, and just have your points in, in your mind that you want to discuss with him. And do it in a loving, you know, non-threatening way. I mean, I'm sure that you do that anyhow. Um, but oftentimes when we're really passionate about something, um, such as, you know, wanting to, you know, step up in the role as a wife, um, it can be a little uh, tenacious, but, you know, just approach him lovingly and, and just, you know, make your points and um, ask him for his advice. Say, well, how would you suggest that, you know, I step into this and how would you suggest that I go about doing this? Um, by giving him examples of what you want to do and asking for his advice of how you could do that, that's empowering for him, and you might get a better response rather than, you know, him getting hyper and fighting with you. You might get a more positive response, inshallah. Also, as far as the sisters go, um, I'm not sure if you knew them before the proposal. You said that they chose you for your, for their brother. Um that's kind of like a big honor because that means that they really respected you and they liked you and um, they felt that you would be a good wife. Um, so if you, if you were friends with them prior to the proposal, I would kindly suggest that you try to get back on that level with them. Um, it's kind of territorial um, is, you know, because you are his wife and you may view them as, you know, interfering 
uh, which they are, um, but I don't think they mean to be. I just, I just think that they, you know, are used to being in that position of power over everything. Um, but you might want to get um, on that level with them of being friends, sisters in Islam, and get to know them that way and let them get to know you that way. And then it may be a lot easier, inshallah, for them to start letting go. You know, um, it's not that they don't trust you now or they don't feel you're competent now. I think it's just a matter of that they are so used to being in control of everything that it's hard to let go. And being that they're always, you know, watching over their brother. Now you're his wife, so they probably feel they're responsible for watching over you, which is not, you know, the case. Um, you both are grown, you're grown, um, and you can do a very good job yourself. Um, so please, sister, don't take it as, you know, a personal negation against you or that they think negatively of you or they think that you're unable, unable to do anything. Um, that that's not the case. Um, I think the case is just that they're so, they're so used to being in charge of everything, um, especially since the passing of their parents that they're just continuing on in their roles and, and they don't know how to let go. So inshallah, you know, try to speak with your husband again and and try to get on the, a friendship level, a sister level in Islam with them and kind of step back from, from you know, the um, competitiveness that they're, that they're causing, you know, in the home. Try to step back away from that. And just let, you know, just let that slide for a minute and try to relate to them on a personal level, sister to sister. Inshallah, that will, that will help them ease up a little bit. And regarding your parents, um, your husband might be, you know, feeling a little bit threatened by their wealth and may possibly inadequate, I don't know. Um, but what I would kindly suggest that if you're not spending a lot of time there right now, um, I would suggest that both you and your husband try to spend more time with your parents' home. And that way it'll give your, your husband a, um, another view on how families function and, and you know who's responsible for what and, and just the flow of, of a different family. I think it'd be really healthy for him. Um, in time, he should you know, warm up to your family and feel comfortable and, and, feel, and feel good enough um, to be a part of, of that dynamic. So don't give up, sister, and um, know that they all love you very much. Um, they just have a hard time letting go of, of what they have um, and what they you know, had before, um, which is total control of the household. So, but as, as, as his wife, you know, that's your responsibility, that's your right. And um, inshallah, with some of the techniques that I've kind of outlined here, um, things will get better. So stay close to Allah, ask him for guidance and, and ease in the situation. And we wish you and your husband both the best.